Hello everybody, welcome to a bonus video from MinMax. A, let's see, this is a video preview. This is a live reaction. This is everything under the sun. MinMax is a place about games, friends, getting better. My name is Ben Hansen, joined by Sarah Podorsky in the MinMax studio. Hello. This is one of our first. And first ever, like, hands on with a game before anyone else has seen it? I guess, so. certainly in the studio. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe for you. Well, well. But the rest of us, Ben. Okay, you're right, you're right. This is very exciting. This is so, important for me. All right, so time and place. We're recording this before Summer Game Fest. We're traveling through time, uh, and we're li very, very lucky to be joined by Greg and Alexis. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Uh, creators of Chicory, how do you like to frame it? Uh, yeah, D director and, and, and character animator of, of Chicory would be accurate. Love yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Really get closer to that mic than you think. Basically, okay. yeah. Oh, this close. uncomfortably close. That's the one to go. Uncomfortably close. Okay, uh, yeah. And better to say from Wishes Unlimited now? Yeah, we are now Wishes Unlimited. <laughs> what is the story there? So there was no studio name before, and it's like we should probably get around to this? Uh, yeah, the, the, I had a, like, it's... Greg technically had a company before. At um, one point. And technically Maybe. this is... Technically, this is still just Greg, but it's like just a better way to describe who, who's working on, yeah, on the game. It, it just got weirder and weirder. Yeah. Like this team we're working with, like the new project we're working on has a lot more people on it. And it's just weirder and weirder to like just put everyone's name on, especially because the it's like a lot more, you know, some people are doing not that much and so we're doing a lot more. And it's just like not really, it's, it feels like a studio. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just different. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the, on the big step up. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So Chicory, Colorful Tale. Yeah, uh, it was Minmax's game of the year in 2021. I uh, fought for that. Yeah, I yeah. don't even know who we slapped down for that. But it was Sarah me and Janet. Sarah destroyed people for I it. I yeah. burned bridges. <laughs> I said some things. Uh, but what's weird is uh, we're in Minnesota, and you all are in Minnesota. Why are you here, right here, right now? Well, it's summer games done quick Hell happening yeah. here in Minnesota, and we found out it was like not that far from your house yeah. so it just worked out I was like well I hear you're in town like do you want to hang out and I guess look at our new game like a week before anyone else knows about it yeah yeah <laughs> super exciting okay so we're gonna have a sneak peek we're gonna actually play this game and check it out and I wanted to go in completely blind but I'm not exactly fully blind because I can see on the TV <laughs> yeah uh, the okay God, I'll let you going. announce the name of the game okay the game is called Beastie Ball <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's <laughs> it's pretty nerve. Hold your applause, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 nerve wracking. It's been we've been working it for a long time, and it's been secret for a long. It's like weird to like have so much figured out and not talk. Anyway, okay, it's a turn based volleyball RPG where you coach a team of beasties to play a sport called beastie ball, which is basically volleyball. Um, and yeah, open world, build a team. Whoa! Fight your way through the the volleyball beastie ball rankings. Um, wow. Yeah. I wasn't ready. Oh, and, okay, this is the important part. Uh, your beasties become friends by playing together. They can form different kinds of relationships. Good. Uh, and then those relationships actually make them they're str them stronger when they're playing sports together. They'll have, like, combo moves they can do together. They'll teach each other things. I, yeah. I, I love it. My, my first thought, and I know this is so condescending, so please forgive me, yeah. to immediately compare it to, like, oh, it's kind of like this other game. But, like, a little little hints of Pyre from Supergiant in there? Oh, like, just a little bit. It okay. takes itself way less seriously than Pyre did. It's, okay. It's super goofy. Yeah. It's, it's like a, like, po Pokemon, Q are both, like, really close, close to this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, awesome. I mean, you say you've been keeping it secret for so long. Like yeah. in my mind, I don't, Sarah, I don't know how you feel, Sarah, but it feels like it feels like Chicory just came out, right? It was like twenty twenty one, but it, it kind of feels that way. We, yeah. we 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 were working on this like a little bit before Chicory, long came before out. in my case. Yeah. Oh really? Way before Chicory came out, I was working on this. Yeah, Greg, yeah, yeah, yeah. Greg has trouble just like sitting still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's that there was that awkward time like we finished we finished all the story in Chicory was wrapped like October 2020, which was eight months before the game came out. Yeah. Um. So like I was pretty much just doing this for a lot of that time. Like in like while we were doing porting and localization stuff on Chicory, it was mm. just like yeah, doing this. Yeah. Did you see it as like a, a big change of pace? Was this your way to kind of unwind from the stress of Chicory development of like I just need something completely different, or is it kind yeah. of in the wheelhouse still? It, it, well, like because the, the the last phase of a project is really bad like it's really not fun to work on and so like like once like, we were done doing all the content stuff for chicory it was just like everything that we had to do was really boring and this was like a fun thing that i could put creative energy into and still feel like happy about my day basically <laughs> yeah. you're like yeah. this is my my coping project yeah yeah this, yeah, this yeah, is my yeah, happy yeah. Place? yeah but it was also like a dream game like i had been wanting to make like this like like versions of this have been kind of swimming around in my head for like a long before we started on chicory like i was like that's why i want to make something like this someday don't know how yet 
but feel and ready like now. How, yeah, how Chicory just kind of went like, like right past it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Chicory was a lot easier to make, too. That's really? Cool. That yeah. seems... I mean, I guess I could see that, but, like, it just feels like the drawing in Chicory, like, drawing on everything, like, that just seems, like, wild to me. That I mean, that was, like, a lot of, like, iteration and a lot of work for you, like, at the beginning when you were finishing working on Wonder Song. <laughs> so that was, yeah. like, the previous, oh. <laughs> the previous one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And same kind of thing, just, like, a lot of... A lot of like just Greg sort of noodling away and trying things and and discarding things and trying things and discarding things and trying things at yeah. the very beginning of the project it's, and then yeah. when, it, when it like when Chicory like settled into like oh we know we know what this is going to be now mm-hmm. and we know what this is going to feel like then it was just like very like that's a game that made road. itself <laughs> that game yeah. like, once once he knew what it was going to be it was just like it was super obvious this is one where it is just way more expansive and even if you know what it is it's just like the to do list is. <laughs> unbelievable yeah which is why we have so many people <laughs> how many people are working on this uh like a lot of we're the only two people working on it full-time okay um, but we have yep yeah well like just like so like, it's like the chicory you know like us us two sound designers and a musician um which is basically like the chicory team but now we also mm-hmm. have a couple 3d modelers we have a, like a team of between five and ten like concept artists who've contributed stuff and then like oh. there's networking programming there's like 3d programming uh and uh, a publisher involved already also. Who's that? <laughs> uh, Clay Entertainment. Oh, oh cool. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in Vancouver with us. Um, yeah. And they also are helping us a lot because they like they have a huge staff of animation people and, and artists in general. So they've been, we've been actually been like kind of trading work. Like they're helping us work on the project. Yeah, it's so a really like weird publisher senior. relationship. Like they're not funding us or anything. Mm-hmm. Um, which by our choice, like we didn't really want funding, but mm. they're giving us just like promotion opportunities and uh, helping with art stuff. And yeah, it's like a cool, weird collaboration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to boil it down. Let me know where I'm missing the mark. So <laughs> Chicory uh, did very well for you, extremely well for you. What's the right way to phrase that? Like, I mean, for how small our team is, like, extraordinarily well. Extraordinarily well. Yeah. Like, okay. I mean, the scale of all games, you know, you wouldn't think about it. But, like, for five people, or you know, our, it's, like, it's awesome. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're doing good. And so you took the success from that, and that's helping to funnel, like, okay, now that project that was already starting development, now we can really balloon it out and hire more people to bring on to yeah. Beastie Ball. Yeah. And you, like, Wander Song too, like, it still, like, makes money every day. And you're, you know what I mean? That's like, so it's, amazing. It's, you know, it's not, like, a crazy number, but it's, like, we don't need that much like, mm-hmm. to do what we're doing. So. Yeah, it's really amazing not, when video games actually people. make money yeah people out there are making money people with games money. yeah <laughs> well no it's amazing i'm curious like how many people went back and found wander song after chicory because like I, anecdotally like you know a, a friend of mine uh who's like lightly into games and went over to their house not too long ago and booted up their switch and like wander song was on the home screen it's like that's that's wild that it gets like, getting around this so much because i felt like i was screaming about it back at game form like is anyone playing this game it's yeah. so damn good <laughs> Uh, and now, like, did people go back and find Wander Song after think, Chicory's success? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know how much you did Chicory, but probably at least some of that. And there's also just like, like over, the, you know, it came out on Game Pass. That was a really, mm. really big visibility boost. And it's just one of those games that has stuck around. Like, people just keep talking about it. It's not a lot of people, but there's right. always like ten people tweeting that it's their favorite game ever. And like that little, there's a, you know, there's a small but very loving fan base. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so just, just just a ground floor amount of love that's just constantly happening for that game, which is really sweet. Like yeah. it's really sweet. Yeah. Uh, so Beastie Ball. Beastie Ball. What was that core idea that you were so excited to dive into? Well, <laughs> my the thing that I'm really excited about, um, the idea of like building a team, I guess. Like yeah. and this idea, like like you're you're building a team, like they feel like they're your like it's your team, like right. My team is like no one else's. They're my people. And like that kind of special chemistry that comes up between them. That was sort of like the really, really like like foundational like you know crumb to it but then there's all this other stuff attached to it but I, I feel like a lot of decisions we made were to support that idea like the fact that they're all creatures gives you gives us as creators a lot more flexibility to like they can express things in way more symbolic ways and it doesn't feel like reductive it actually feels like I don't know exciting you know you can see you see you see a little guy making faces at you you see them like interacting with each other in a very like symbolic kind of way and it, it really feels like they're doing something um and yeah, like they're all like the, the yeah, the, like every little creature has like some tiny differences. Uh, that part's really cool. And yeah, it feels gigantic just from a writing standpoint. Like the writing from your previous games is something that people really hold in high regard. And if you're doing like interactions between dynamic teams, like 
how the hell? Well, that's the thing. If they were human characters, we'd have to write all ah, of it. And it would, and it okay. would be really bad because, <laughs> because like you can't like, it would, it would never feel right. You know, like a human character with just a procedural text, like, right. It doesn't ever yeah, good. It really feel like so organic. Yeah. But, yeah. but when you have like little creatures, like we can, like we do a lot more, like it's the, what I mean by symbolic, right. It's like, we can do, we can kind of show a lot more. That's a little more specific using just animation and, and visual stuff without like writing dialogue for all of it. Okay. And it still feels really good. Okay. That's the part that's great to me. Um, but there is a lot of story. I mean, it's an open world RPG, so it's not like there's any lack of story in it. It's just, Man. <laughs> it's just not like there. Um, but yeah, yeah, building a team of cool little creatures uh, that all have like differences and are unique and have like special teamwork together and play sports together yeah. and become friends by playing sports together. Yeah, I don't know. I you, love it. Do you have to like <laughs> win the league? Is there like the master tournament that you must? Compete in? Can you share that? Yeah, prox. Yeah, so, sort of. Basically, <laughs> basically, yes. But like, but with surprises. <laughs> okay. I, don't I, know. I was sold at Pokemon and Haikyuu. Yeah, that's yeah, all I, you know. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. I'm curious about. I know this is a weird time traveling question, but like, mm. lining up your games reveal when so many things are popping off in the summer. Mm. Like, how do you decide where and how to reveal a game? Are you knocking on every door? We knocked on a lot of doors, kind of. yeah. We, well, we also, like, we were taking our time making sure the game was, like, we were nervous about this, like, for a long time. Like, the, the, we were, I guess, like, two, two and a half years working on it, and probably for the first year to year and a half at least. You know, like, we weren't even 100% confident that, like, is this going to be really good when we're done? Are yeah. we going to be able to finish this to the scale that we want? Like, there are a lot of questions that were just sort of like, this is really scary, this is a big project, it feels like a mistake. Like, <laughs> I really want to do it, but, like... Making it a 3D game and game maker. Yeah, yeah. We're still using the same game engine. As oh, Jigger. weird. Yeah. Game maker too? yeah, 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 yeah. So like everything in the game is like kind of custom done. Like Alexis, you don't agree with this decision? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think game maker is just like game maker is what they made Undertale in. Right. And it's like a good, f it's a good engine, but it's like yeah. it can't do everything. No. And people really have to like jerry rig game maker to right. make games run yep. yeah. in ways that you wouldn't expect. But yeah, yeah. it's just like it's. It's incredible that, like, you're, like, backwards <laughs> engineering this. Yeah, it was just, uh, yeah. So so there were a lot of reasons why we weren't sure about it. But then at yeah. some point, it was like, okay, this actually feels like the game we said we were going to make, and it's really fun. And then it was just a question of, like, having enough to show that we felt like other people would understand I don't know. It's a very big game, so like, yeah. A, a, yeah. a lot of a lot of the work, a lot of the work for like the first like yeah, like year and a half was kind of just like foundational, piecing, piecing it, a lot of it together mm -hmm. and like putting things in in a very 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 rough state. <laughs> right, right. Just to see what would work. Yeah, you know. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's that's partially why we waited so long. Um, and it doesn't feel like that long from well, the outside. <laughs> I mean, I know you, you've just been living this every single day, but it's been killing me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm used to. Well, yeah. Like, like another big thing that happened is like I'm used to like like I used to make games. I mean, I always, I always make games. I used to make games in a way more public way. Like I was just living on Game Maker forums, and just right. everything I did any day, I was just like posting screenshots of it. Like it was no big deal. Yeah. And then somewhere between Wander Song and Chicory, like that relationship to the public changed because like I can't just say I'm like working on a game without someone like w you know wanting to like, doing an article or you know something about okay. it so then it's like okay well if people are gonna like if I if people have attention on us then we should make sure like when we say something we really mean it you know mm -hmm. like we have something to show for it we're not just like you know oh I had a cool idea today right like right, <laughs> then everyone right. would be like what was it yeah what yeah yeah, cool yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. had some kind of idea <laughs> yeah and that, that's not even like we're that it's not even like we're that <laughs> big a deal but it was just like I, I still felt like I had some responsibility to try to like to it, I have, yeah, it's different. It's different now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think there's like a your generation of game developers. I feel like there's a lot of that learning process of even like you know concerned ape Eric Baroni is that how he pronounces his last name? Mm. Um, you know, with Stardew Valley, but that idea of like ah, I'm thinking about making. I think originally he said like something kind of like Pokemon bug collecting. Then he's like ah, I'm going to make haunted chocolatier. Everyone, it's kind of like a soft reveal for a lot mm -hmm. of people. So it's interesting that you have the I don't know what the right word the fortitude, <laughs> the marketing savvy to be like, I'm going to wait and try and make a big splash when we yeah. actually reveal this instead of the slow trickle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And yeah, I, yeah, like it's it's weird to reveal, you were saying like in the summer when everything else is revealing. Yeah. But it also makes us, I think it makes us look cool too because it's like they're all revealing now, you know, and we're in the same list, right? Right, like right, that's, right. That's the idea. We're try at least trying to look like we're a big deal now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to tell too many tales about school, but at GDC, I was... I was talking to y'all we had uh, a lunch mm. and it was like you guys should you should try to go for like the big leagues for this reveal and <laughs> i feel like both of you 
a little bit like, ah, I don't think we're in that league. But it's like, yeah. trickery was so good. <laughs> like, absolutely, you should be knocking on the highest of the high doors to be like, it, it's a good game to have in your catalog if you're showing it off, even for the biggies out there. Sure, sure. Well, yeah, I mean, we're excited about all the stuff that's going to happen. Like, I guess at the time of viewing, right, things right. that have already happened. <laughs> and hope we didn't bomb. I mean, maybe you're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first game that Looking was booed audibly <laughs> by <laughs> Tim Schafer during Day of the Day. I don't understand. They put it on there to make fun of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, yeah. And we're just looking back like, oh my God, how did this happen? And how did they get those yet. embarrassing childhood photos? Why are they putting those on the screen? Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we see this game? Yeah. Well, all right, yeah. Let's, see, let's see how yeah. it actually works here. How do I okay. put this up? So you can just play... The tutorial bit, like what what we were gonna do for like that that press event in LA is like you play the very very beginning, it skips everything, and now you're just like in the middle of the game. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll give you, I'll simulate that experience by having you play a tutorial, and then we'll just back out your save file and load a different one, and yeah, you can walk around good. and look at stuff. That sounds good. Yeah. So this one we're gonna overwrite. Uh, yep. And we'll just do default settings, and there you go. Sweet. Yay! Oh my god. Oh yeah, and actually this this we're bit not also, supposed to show this. No, you can, you can. But for the this is um. For for event stuff, this screen is truncated extremely mm. because oh. it's really easy to spend time on it, um, and I don't know like you're like oh I'm already I'm already ruining it. Yeah, it's already... a five minute demo, oh, but Sarah's no. gonna spend forty five minutes on this. <laughs> exactly. Right no, I mean that is what people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the Animal Crossing nose here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the art style is a pretty wild shift for you. Yeah, well, I'm doing human characters, um, and then you'll see, but Alexis is doing all of the not humans, um, which is a way more substantive uh, art project. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. And then you're doing all animations? Uh, yeah, so far I'm doing all the animations. For, um, for the, the, that, that, anim- that one is me. That, that, the, exactly. <laughs> all okay. the humans. Okay. I'm just doing all the humans. We'll have a label in the video for exactly yeah, yeah, who did what. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, same composer as yep, Lana Rain is coming back for music. Awesome. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm doing I'm doing the the like in game drawings and animations for the creatures. Um, but we have uh, how many five or six other concept artists um, who are who are also doing creature designs and we're all like yeah. Okay. Uh, developing those together and then I we can talk about the, that a lot. Yeah. yeah. There's like a lot to do say the, about creatures. <laughs> Sarah, this is Sorry, I just feel very strongly about my drip. <laughs> right, right. That's cool. Phone, it's a flip phone! Good, good colors. Let's see. How's this gonna work? Well. Sarah, nor- normally, I don't want to out Sarah. Are you here. telling normally, me not to put poopoo pee pee in? She normally, she writes poopoo pee pee, but this is a <laughs> professional outlet. We can't possibly write that here. I like how you were like, oh, Sarah, contain yourself <laughs> never in front of the you, guests, please. I've never seen you type out your actual name. <laughs> this is, do you know how to spell it? I don't, don't want to hold you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. This is, join my volleyball team. Come back. <laughs> oh my God. Join my volleyball team. That Animal Crossing rotating world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The preserve. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, they're like, they're rich, like the three starters. Interesting. <laughs> He's not here to answer your question. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the game does I like the, the one on the now. left yeah. the best. Uh, see, this is where you're wrong. The one on the right is clearly the way to go. Look at how Seems to no, have no, icy no, no, ears. No, 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 no. Look at how cute that is. That is just a round boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even look, look at the other <laughs> No interest. Oh, interesting. He wants to play. I like that we're just coaches. Pep shot. Oh. Oh, and you see the. Di- oh, it shows you damage numbers. Pick a lane. Okay, let's do the one that we're gonna do more damage to. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, a defense action? Interesting. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ooh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put him in the way of fire. Hit it with the slap shot. I don't know. That's not that <laughs> No one knows. It's fine. Get it. Catch it with your face. No. Oh, he tried. That's okay, so you're you're fine, you're doing great! <laughs> we love you! I wish I had like an emote to just be like, you're doing great, sweetie! <laughs> it's okay! <gasps> Alright, 
right, that's a good look. Oh! Hang on, I've seen that somewhere before. <laughs> Where have we seen that before? Oh my god, I got a friend now! Let's see. Let's see. Can I select the other one? Or should I move? Okay, I can select the other one. They can both move. Let's see. Must have ball to do this. Oh yeah, we don't have the ball. Oh, I mean, we'll just stay back here then. By the way, I know you wanted to treat this like uh, a test session, but you're welcome to jump in and uh, oh, give sorry. tips yeah, or walk through anything we're seeing. I don't have anything to add. She's she's getting it. Yeah. That's right, Ben. I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to question anything. Yeah. I love the way he's like uh, just taking it on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be spending a long time figuring out like how how they're all gonna like actually physically play volleyball because they're all yeah. like, right, right, all very differently shaped. Yeah. 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 And they do they all use their heads? No, they don't all use their heads. Okay. Oh God, no, they all use share. different parts. <gasps> but they they all did evolve to play sports, so they all have like different adaptations to be better at sports in different ways. Okay. Yeah. Something that becomes more clear as you play more is like different beasties specialize in different aspects of the sport. Okay. Which is why they're, which makes their teamwork kind of more interesting and dynamic, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is wild. I did not see this. I, you were like, I think you were teasing even on Twitter about yeah. like, or maybe it was, you know, messaging about this event. You're, you called it like, oh, it's a weird little game is the way you put it. Like, it is, it's going to be surprising for people. Like, wait, what is this? What are they working on? I I've, hope so. <laughs> I've, I've honestly been so nervous about about showing it to people because it is so different. From, yeah, <laughs> that's from good. Chicory and from Wonder Song. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But if it was the same thing, it would be boring. So <laughs> yeah. And I have I. This is really close to my heart. Like I have been wanting to do this one. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't feel. Yeah, it doesn't feel weird to me. Mm -hmm. It feels like natural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Red with two D's, legally distinct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, I like how I feel like a lot of yeah developers from like our generation is like making Pokemon like games. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the same like spiritual experience, but like a little more in depth than Pokemon yeah. would normally go. Yeah. It's, yeah, it feels like a really rich genre. Like mm -hmm. it feels like there's yeah. so many different ways to have a take on on like what that game could be. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots of lots of space to explore and oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah for sure. Okay. Designing like, creatures takes a long time. Okay, so <laughs> this is yeah. so this is, this is at this point story. you are doing story and we're gonna we're just gonna skip through all of that. So <laughs> oop. is is it the phone tech just kind of throwback or do you have like a time and place like this is taking place in the year two thousand and three? I mean I mean it's not like it's it's not it's not like taking place on Earth or anything <laughs> right, like right, that. Right. So it's not it's not like a one to one. We just I think we just like flip phones and yeah, of like course. the physicality yeah, cool. of them and yeah. just I don't know, the, the noises that they make mm -hmm. and Yeah. Yeah. So what we've done is, um, oh my gosh, my same little team. Like at this point, like there's there won't be any like other like thing to accomplish or clear story mm -hmm. beat. But you are like at the point now where you have gotten to the open world ish part of the game. Mm -hmm. You can walk around. You can you can encounter more guys and just sort of play more Beastie Ball to your heart's content. Um, but it's uh, yeah, you can you can get you can kind of look at uh actually oh. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm not seeing this. <laughs> yeah, you can talk to them. Like, I'm not, I'm not against you seeing story. I just don't want to like, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's there's a lot of story. So it's <laughs> okay. God, making an open world game has to be so bizarre for you, right? Yeah, it is really different, uh, challenging thing. Not like Chicory. I mean, actually, one of the big differences too between this and Chicory is uh, that you're just playing. <laughs> You're playing as like you know you build your own character, so you don't have like like even more so than Chicory, like your player character doesn't have a personality, mm. right? Like it's like it's like your self insert. Okay. And that's that changes the way the story feels a lot. Yeah. There's there's not like a main character arc the way that Chicory and Wonder Song had. We're doing other stuff that I think is really really cool, but it's just very different. It's been it's been a challenge for us. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> uh, what were uh, big inspirations early on? We got a little dash of Pokemon in there. Were the other like on the on the big whiteboard of we want to make the open world feel like blank? The open world, like it kind of happened. Honestly, 
no, I hadn't played a lot of open world. Like, art, like uh, making an open world RPG was something that was like really daunting to me. Since this game, since we were working on this game, Scarlet and Violet came out, yeah. and it, which is a really interesting study for us because we were looking at just like, we had already solved a whole bunch of problems and then we were looking at how they had solved them differently. Mm. Um, and in some ways, in the same way. What kind yeah. of stuff? Um, just like, well, hmm, like how gaming, how game overing works, or like like losing fights works, one. or like the way the yeah. <laughs> the I the want egg. that one. Which one? The little platypus oh, one. The oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like the way that they do, like like kind of the like challenge gating and how you encounter things. Like there's uh, some things that are similar but different. That, that, that was like a really hard problem. Yeah. If you want to go explore, you can go. Uh, I think left from here. There's a couple screens you can walk around and, and find some some beasties to play with. How do you like? Enlist your beasties. How do you like get more beasties? Yeah. Okay. So oh. I don't want to say like catch, cause like no, you don't what catch if them. This is, no, it's this is a so in this game you recruit beasties. Um, you have you get jerseys, uh, which are relatively expensive items, and you give if you give a jersey to a beastie, um, they'll be like part of your team, which gives you a special like jersey bond that lets you communicate with them uh, and like kind of let them kind of freely leave and go back to your team. The way that you do that is um, every beastie has a secret recruit condition. Mm. So a thing they want you to do when you're playing sports against them. And if you do that, then they'll want to join your team. Okay. Um, so finding out that recruit condition is something you can do by like playing against them and doing research on them. And then basically, if you know what to do, you can always do it. You can always get a beastie onto your team. Uh, yeah. yeah. But it's it's kind of meant to be a little, I feel a bit more like, um, like a respectful equal exchange. Like they want to join your team. You give them a jersey. <laughs> That's like, so cute. Yeah. Make them feel excited about your, about yeah. your team and your teamwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, it's, it's like not, a, I mean, you can't, so you can get a lot of them if you want to, but the point is not to collect them. The point is more like you build a team of ones that you want to invest in. They grow relationships with each other. They get stronger, like the more they play together. Yeah. So, um, it's kind of meant to be more like, you know, you find the ones you really want and you invest in them and you kind of like get, get stuff from that. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if this is an okay thing to say, but in terms of like, in terms of like completing the game, like playing against a beastie and and completing the research on it is is like all you. Yeah, recruiting to your team you doesn't give you anymore. anything. There's no like completion for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. But so one beastie really just, just moved out like... of the way of his friend and let his friend just eat that. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Yeah. <laughs> We, we really want people to just like yeah like like zero in on ones that they that they really like and and, and play with those ones. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. No. It's so sad when they get hit in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Naming the beasties. It's a big is challenge. that something fun? Like that sounds like oh that's the fun part, but is that secretly just uh, the challenge of naming a ton of characters? Once you decide you want to do something well, it always becomes a lot less fun. Sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> there were a lot of, like, one, there, there were a few names, uh, which I don't think we've even, we're, we've gotten to reveal yet. There's some that were, like, a really, like, silly, bad name that I was really attached to and I think are going to stay because it, it is just so funny. Okay. But a lot of the time, it's, like, you do want to communicate a lot with a name, like, not just, it's, like, you know, it's cool if it's funny, but it also we also want it to, like, communicate information about like, just like what their personality is or like what the inspirations are, what they do, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. We usually go for three meanings in a name. That's like, that's like the target. If it has like only one or two meanings, it's like not, not good enough. Really? <laughs> two meanings isn't good two enough Two meanings isn't good enough. Yeah. yeah. Triple entendre only. We, we some, usually, some of them are just two. Some of them are just two. A lot of them are just two. But those are the, you know, they're the lame ones of the pack. We if, it, if it's really catchy, like that's, that, that can, that can, that can I, can, I can think of one in particular, which is, which is definitely just two, which you are very attached to. What is wait, it? Which, wait, which one? Uh, cover the microphone. These are secret. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Oh. Yeah, that one's pretty simple. <laughs> do you have a Do you have a total number of beasties in mind? We I don't know if we should say anything about it right now. But there's There's gonna be eleven that are like part of our re reveal lineup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a lot more than that. There's a lot uh, more than that. Under a hundred total. Uh, mm, not sure. Interesting. <laughs> but on the bubble of a hundred. Okay. Yeah. Look at them. That's very good. I love them. It kind of has to be a lot, or it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it's, it's. Yeah, we we want. It's, it's we like want you, it to feel like a fully fleshed out world. We yeah. want we want people to have a lot of things to pick between. Because if you only have five choices, then you know it's not that interesting. But if you have a hundred and you pick your favorite out of a hundred, that's like. Oh no. 
I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it feels like cooler. Yeah, express your personality a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you looking forward to all the questions you're gonna get Summer Game Fest? But like, so are you a big volleyball fan? I did organize a Ooh. volleyball meetup group uh, in Vancouver for two years while working on this game as research. I didn't tell my friends they were research uh, guinea pigs, but wait, wait, wait so it, was like, it was also just because we like. It's also like fun. It's also fun. Oh yeah, it yeah, does yeah, seem yeah, like yeah. fun. Yeah. So really, so that started with like you developing the game, then be like, okay, now let's actually get real world volleyball going here. Yeah. Well, think, started with it watching Haikyuu. Like, yeah, started with watching Haikyuu, <laughs> talking to our friends about Haikyuu. It seems like Haikyuu starts a lot of things. Yeah. 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 Re realizing that some of our friends already like played volleyball or used to play volleyball in high school and this was and this was like also in like the second year of the pandemic and so like we were trying to find outdoor things to do with our friends anyway yeah uh, and we which volleyball is really good for yeah it. so we yeah. like we like went to went to the hardware store and bought like a, a net that we could put up at like the beach and, and the park and stuff yeah. and just like started going like okay go, go. Like, every Sunday morning we'll go on come play volleyball at the beach. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. And, and that had a real impact on the game design then of like, yeah, that's so fun. It did, yeah. I mean, the the early like um, like battle system prototyping stuff, like a lot of what I was trying to do is how like like how how can we make a, a turn-based game that feels like volleyball, um, but also is a fun turn-based game, but has like some of the same like tactical interest of it, you know? Right, right. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it, it took a long time to figure out how to teach people the game because it's not just like a it's straightforward not, yeah. hit, hit your opponent, they hit you. Yeah, <laughs> kind of okay. yeah like as Sarah's already figured out, right? You can yeah. win You can win points by just hitting a ball at an empty lane, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to deal damage. You don't have to like, a lot of oh, our that's people, interesting. You, know, you know, it's like strategy games. Usually you're trying to just like kill everyone on the other team and once they're all knocked out, you win. Mm -hmm. um, but there's actually a lot of things that are really cool about games that work this way. Um, for one thing, like if you're playing like player versus player, um, which this game also has, um, the like in a, in a typical strategy game, there's kind of like this um, momentum that happens where you get ahead, like they lose, they lose a guy, and now you're ahead by one guy, and now like you you have more like resource than them, so you win faster and faster, and then like usually you get to a point where you can't really come back. That's that's just natural for games that are like that. Like chess oh is kind of like that too. Yeah. Um, but in this game, uh, there's actually multiple ways to win, and even if someone gets like knocked out, they can come back into the game after a little bit because that's not the point. Like they don't have to knock be all knocked out. So the game has a lot more of a like push and pull to it where you can fall behind but you actually get an advantage sometimes by like giving up a point but keeping more stamina and you can like do like a really big comeback and yeah, yeah. it's really it's different and fun I yeah like diving into strategy has to be a wild level yeah yeah, that is a, that is novel for us. There's a lot about this game that's novel yeah. <laughs> for us. Uh, like I have done, like I've I've made a few RPGs, um, and I actually did. You know that I made the first roguelike deck building game. Um, Excuse ever. me. Yeah. <laughs> which, ever. Which the, the genre of roguelike deck builders I technically is. invented. Tech tank. Is that right? Wait, what game is this? It was called Coin Crypt. It's like it doesn't it, it. it doesn't yeah it, it's it's like it doesn't really count because I don't think anybody who went on to make like the really big ones was like looking at that one as like their inspiration or anything. Yeah. What year is this? Uh, 2013 like was the oh, first wow. release for that one. Yeah. Um, so like I but all that to say that like, I, I spend a lot of time thinking about like like in the strategy category of games and like numbers and cards and RPG stats yeah. like all that stuff like it's not that's not new to me. Doing player versus player strategy is new to me, but not maybe not as weird as it might seem coming from Chicory. Right, yeah. right, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, we don't want to see too much here beyond the demo uh, that people are playing at Summer Game Fest and stuff. So you, yeah. you got to be our guides for what we can look at and what we can't here. Um, yeah, I mean, I think if, like, yeah, this is maybe this is a good stopping point. Like, the, you can you can walk around and play Beastie Ball forever, but you're not going to see anything super new. If you want to just wander around and, and look at I stuff, I love the like, way they interact with the environment. Your little beasties. Like, yes. I love yeah, how they that's... will just like find stuff in the background to do, and they'll like look at stuff, and they'll interact with stuff. Yeah, we want yep. to make sure that there's a lot of that. Yeah, they yeah, talk to each other too, yeah. and yeah. So every individual beast, I kind of touched on this before, but like your individual beasties, um, they have. They sit with me. <laughs> They have unique like colors and also personalities. Um, so if you like 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 some oh. like like different kind of feeling vibes. So like when they're interacting with each other and doing their little emojis and stuff, like they have different sort of personalities, and that affects like what kind of relationships they'll form with each other. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I don't know if you. I think your two haven't become close friends yet, which takes it does it does take some time for that to do. But like it's like there's a there can be a moment like when you're playing together they'll become like close friends. Oh, they did. Yeah. The, oh, they did. Oh, yeah, I wasn't even. They did a little high five. I'm like yeah. blanking. I'm like thinking <laughs> about too many things. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so like that, what relationship they form there, it's based on how they play together and also their, their personalities a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, their, their colors are unique too. So like the fact that your little lizard guy has black berries on his tail, that's 
Aww. like other ones have different colors of berries and stuff on them and you can see even like these birds are all like kind of different shades of mm -hmm. pink and yeah. stuff yeah i love that instead of just the pokemon thing you're like well you got the shinies for like the one special one mm -hmm. by and large they're all gonna yeah. be somewhat uniform yeah and this one, the yeah. kind of like their their sport capabilities um, are a lot more uniform. So like no matter which one you have, like you always have like kind of like they can always be like the best version, like you know like the most competitively viable best stats, whatever. Yeah. That that doesn't mm -hmm. that doesn't exist in this game. How many can follow me? You can have up to five on your sports team. Yeah. And then so. Okay. There'll be two on the field and then three. In the yeah, I saw that you could like switch them out. Yeah. If you wanted that's to. That's a very that's a very important part of yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you like the game, Alexis? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that pause. <laughs> it it took you a while? I, if I wasn't here... <laughs> <laughs> I, I always have a lot of complicated feelings about about anything that I that I am personally working on. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's, what, what do you see? Just the amount of work that's going on behind the scenes? Or what's the pause? I guess, yeah. And just like all of She's the... a good problem finder. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Like I could see her watching and like checking to see like if something was about to go wrong or like that's how I feel like when you watch someone play an unfinished game you're like don't don't touch that don't <laughs> no don't and just yeah. yeah I don't know just thinking about all the all the little things that we really 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 want to cram into here like I don't know some 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 of my absolute favorite things in games are things that that like. 75% of people aren't going to see. Right, the right. Things, the things that you find and you go like, oh, I found like something something cool. Or I've seen a, like, a cool interaction of like something that feels personal to you. Right. And I, yeah, I, I, I want to make sure to cram as many as much of that into this game as you can. Yeah. And it's, it has been harder on this game because it is so expansive. Like we've been doing like, like it's been so much time and effort to get to like kind of a, a foundational level. Like, you know, because all that she's talking about stuff that happens after like the game is fun and working and like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, OK, there's like a basic structure here and I can beat the game. And then there's all this extra like little. Oh, if you talk to this radio or whatever. You need right? to do it. You need to carve in time for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's yeah. the what's the timeline? like for a release we i think we're now 2024 we're announcing Smart. yeah Smart. <laughs> feeling yeah. early feeling late uh it'll it'll pr probably as long as possible honestly it'll probably be late. okay yeah yeah there there is a lot done and but we also like ah! we have a lot more that we want to do so yeah yeah and these 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 guys take a take a lot longer to design and animate than than the characters in yeah. chicory <laughs> that, that was definitely something that we did not think about like with chicory we made like over a hundred unique characters mm -hmm. um and so coming to this game i was like well we already did that so we'll just do it again <laughs> but they have stats now and i can i do stats that's easy turns out uh no it's way more complicated um because every creature in this game is like potentially the main character of your adventure right yeah and they all need to feel like they all need to feel like they have a lot of personality right yeah right. it's not just like a cool drawing it's like a lot of thought put into them uh and you know, also because, yeah, I guess we're, just, we're just taking it really seriously. Like, we just want to do a really, really good job at it. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> uh, it looks great so far, so congratulations. Yeah. Thank congratulations. you. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Sarah, hot takeaways? Very fun to play. Very fun to play. It does, when you mention, like, the card games, it does kind of feel similar to a card game. Right. Huh. That there's, like, phases. There's, like, the attack phase, the defense phase. Mm -hmm. And then it just it feels a lot more complicated when you're like playing with two of them, mm -hmm. and then on like the ones off the field too, like being able to like deploy them and like yeah. swap them around. Yeah, there's there's a, like it it it's like yeah. Uh, how do I say this? Like there's a lot of hidden depth to it, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. 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 We're so trying we're trying not to like yeah we're trying not to lay too much on yeah. at the beginning just so it feels like you, you can kind of get into the flow of it and yeah. then and then pick up little little, little extra bits as you go. Yeah. Yeah. The for the yeah. It, that thing of like you want you want uh, most people playing an RPG most of the time just kind of want to click attack to get through encounters and I want to make sure that was still was possible, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that if you are really into it, which some people like on the team already are, like there's a lot of a lot of stuff you can get into like, and it, it, it goes into some weird and cool places. Yeah, awesome. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah. thanks for yeah. swinging by and showing off the game. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks for. Coming to Minneapolis. More developers, come to Minneapolis. Come to Minneapolis. We have SGDQ. Yeah. Yeah. We have GDQ <laughs> is worth is so good. Honestly worth it. <laughs> and lots then, of trees here. Lots of trees See? here. Yeah. Minneapolis is All beautiful. Right. Yeah, we love it. Um, what do you want folks to know? If this is going up June 10th, what should they know? What do you want them to do? Uh, check us out at beastieballgame.com. We've got all our info up on there, including links to a Kickstarter, which I think will be live at the time of this, Ooh, too. Oh, yes. exciting. Which I didn't tell you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> Surprise. How yeah. does that work? Just to, to help out development here? Yeah, because we are self-funded. Um, and that helps us because, yeah, we're still kind of building our team. We're still expanding stuff. That helps us. We also are making a lot of really, really cool merch, which we're doing mm. through the Kickstarter. And this is just like an opportunity to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just to like, I don't know, as, as, as a nice, it was, it was nice. It was nice to do with Jiggery as a way to like share stuff about the game as we're working on it. Yeah. With yeah. People who we know are interested. Yeah. <laughs> Build up their community. Actually invested, yeah. Like it's, they put money in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's really tough to do that in any other context, basically. So, and I really like doing it. I like having a, like an audience to talk to while we're making the game. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Well, hey, thanks for being here. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Uh, best of luck finishing off the game. Thank you very much. Sweet. And thanks so much for watching or sharing this video from MinMax. MinMax is a place about games, friends, and getting better. Uh, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Sarah kind of appreciates it. Other people kind of appreciate it. Uh, so, it helps spreading the word about this preview or other content is also <gasps> appreciated. And uh, don't miss uh, Sarah and Janet and Leo, uh, their travelog from Summer Game Fest, since we're in that season I now. This, this future is a post It's so Game weird, Fest right? <laughs> uh, so you can find that on MinMax's YouTube channel either now or in the very near future. Uh, I suppose in the near future, showing off their entire adventures around LA and the whole event season and stuff. So that'll be up on MinMax's YouTube channel. So stick around for that. All right, thanks so much, everybody. See ya. You've seen the headlines. You know that the media landscape is consolidating. Having truly independent games media is more important than ever. MinMax can exist independently as a place about games, friends are getting better, but we need your help. The good news is that it's easy. Just click on that subscribe button or unlock a mountain of benefits by going to patreon.com slash minmax with two N's. Thanks so much, everybody.